Hi, and um, a small but not unknown of departure from my normal content, I'm going to talk about YouTube itself and specifically the story that's been going around, particularly now, it's like re-going around but it's affecting sort of wow YouTubers at the moment and on demonetizing of certain videos. And um, I talked about this in, in my live Tuesday talk because I noticed earlier in the week Preach was tweeting that a load of his videos been demonetized just sort of watched his video on it as well. And I thought I ought to sort of add in some context here because I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about what this is uh, and especially what it's caused by. I think Preach himself, because this is actually something that's not happening right now. Um, it's affecting some people right now, I think, just because the whole process has been working through the system. But it actually started months and months ago, like half a year ago or something like that. And I think, you know, if it sort of happened all that time ago and didn't affect you it's sort of out of your mind, and now it happens now and you start to think it's because of something different. I think that's what Preach was talking about. And there was just a few things that were in there that were that were wrong, that were incorrect. So I sort of wanted to redress the balance here. So the natural assumption is what's happening is, uh, for those who are completely unaware of it, is YouTube now have these rules, these advertiser-friendly rules, and it's like if you want to make sure that your content can be monetized, you have to stick to these things, and there's certain things you can't talk about in there, there's certain languages you can't use and all the rest of it. I'm not going to get into the, the, the here's and why's. A lot of it is cultural. That was what was definitely picked up by Preach. It's cultural. There are certain words that are... You know, they're not polite language, but they're fairly common in the UK. They're, you know, no one's going to take major offence at them. Don't use them in front of the Queen or anything like that. But generally speaking, no one's going to take major offence. But they're potentially horrendous in America. And, of course, it's an American company. Most of the advertisers are American. Uh, there's actually a two-way process as well. There's actually at least one word that I've heard even on American uh, programmes for kids that in this country is like, whoa, you can't say that. I remember watching a kid's, when I was a kid, an American kid's program, this was used, and I'm not going to say what it is, um, not because it's really bad in America, but because it's really bad in the UK. And it was like, whoa, what, what, what's going on here? Um, so there's a cultural thing like that, but we all know which, which words we shouldn't use. But it's the, the assumption is what's happening is... Um, the, a load of people are blaming YouTube for this, and that that makes completely no sense. There's actually three parties here, and and two of them are being blamed, and they're completely blameless. Uh, there is a, there are a party that no one is blaming who are actually to blame. So YouTube are not to blame, and, and it's mad that anyone would even try because, you know, it's like, what are you blaming YouTube for? For backing down to advertisers? Well, how are any of us going to get any monetization from YouTube if advertisers don't pay Google? <laughs> like what um so that's madness but then a lot of people are blaming the advertisers themselves now that sort of makes sense but it's incorrect it's not the advertisers fault um so people are thinking to themselves well the advertisers are all getting on their high horse and they're saying oh we don't want our stuff advertised on all this sort of stuff uh, as if they're sort of afraid of it or there's something about youtube they don't like advertisers love youtube <laughs> they know that we consume particularly the, the younger generation, but a lot of people consume YouTube content. Advertisers are desperate to get their stuff advertised on there. Desperate. So why would the advertisers have threatened to, and, and indeed did, put, because a lot of large advertisers pulled out of advertising on YouTube. Why did this happen? So it goes back a long time, well, a long time. It was still this year, but I think very early this year. And... Initially, it was the fault of a British newspaper. Um, now, our journalism is pretty trash. Uh, we, there's no honour in our journalism. That's not to say there are honourable journalists in the UK, but there's not many of them. They're massively outnumbered. And our newspapers are the worst of all. And there was a particular newspaper, The Guardian, which, by the way, is not the worst of a lot by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, as far as such a thing can be said, it is one of the more honourable newspapers, but it, it is still a British newspaper and it's still trash. And... <sighs> They did a piece about noticing that that some of their advertising was appearing on like jihadist videos and stuff like that, like um, you know, pro terrorism videos. And they did a piece on this, um, as all British newspapers do, blew it a bit out of proportion as well. But nonetheless, that's all they were talking about. And you can sort of look at that and go, okay, yeah, we don't want that content it's not a case of we don't want adverts appearing on that content what you should have been saying is we don't want that content on youtube um that should have been the way you go about it instead of saying you know because if if something like that is so reprehensible you know the concern should not be that my advertising appear on it is, is, is there in the first place 
But then what happened, it went across the pond and there was an American newspaper. Now, I don't want to falsely accuse here, but I think it was the New York Times. It may have been the Washington Post. I'm pretty sure it was one of those two. But I've sort of got an idea it was the New York Times. They went a step further. In fact, they went several steps further. They didn't just run a piece like this themselves. They went to the major advertisers and they said to them, the likes of Coca-Cola and McDonald's and people like this, they said to them, why are you supporting terrorism? And these, other, these companies went, uh, what? What are you talking about? It's like, your adverts are appearing on this content on YouTube. And they went, oh, that's not good. And, and they didn't just leave it at that. <laughs> they didn't leave it at that. These new, this newspaper then said to these companies, if you don't pull out of YouTube, we're going to be doing an editorial tomorrow that says you support terrorism. So really, this is not... So the advertisers backed into a thing then. Obviously, they knew they could lose a lot more business from appearing to support terrorism because that newspaper would write that piece on it and said that they'd informed these companies and these companies said they don't care. That's the way they'd have phrased it. Uh, so the companies then did sort of go onto YouTube and say, look, we can't have this. Um, so ultimately, this is the fault of trash journalism, really, uh, rather than the fault of those companies. So what do what is the sort of consequence of this? Uh, basically, there's, there's a huge list now. So YouTube, as I say, have been working on this. Oh, you know, they couldn't do something just like this. This is why some advertisers are only just starting to, some people on YouTube, I should say, uh, creators, get it right. Uh, are only just starting to notice it. In fact, it's quite funny when this sort of started happening. It's possibly because, of course, while you, even large wow YouTubers are still small in YouTube terms. The very large YouTubers, the ones who have like millions of subscribers, they were being hit by this a long time ago. Uh, and anyone who watches the big guys uh, and girls vlogging, um, the ones with millions, will have known about this for some time because they were hit for, and it's possible that YouTube were hitting those first because it's quite easy. And it's, it's probably taken some time to develop the algorithm. And they've now sort of got it. And that's why smaller ones um, are now being hit. And it's quite funny because it's quite topical for me because people were asking me if any of mine been hit. It's like, no. Um, but then funnily enough, I, was up, I uploaded one last night. It's not released yet. Uh, it's scheduled to release at 4 p.m. my time today. But I'd, I'd uploaded it, and then suddenly I got the little thing on there, the amber dollar sign that says, this doesn't look advertiser friendly. And I thought to myself, oh, because I'd, I'd just been saying no, none of mine have been hit, and then suddenly one is, is apparently is, and it's not actually even uh, published yet. And I thought, how odd. Because um, no one could have complained about it. This can't be someone complaining about it in an automatic process. This is, um, this is an, this is an, out. this is, like a bot that has looked at it and gone, Ooh, no. I thought, oh, it's a guide as well. So there's certainly no swear words were even slipped out. So I watched it through and then I thought to myself, I think I know what it is because it's, it's a guide and, and there's a wee core on it. <laughs> Whoever wrote the wee core was non too polite. And there was, a, should we say, a curse word on the wee core just on the screen. So it's not me saying anything, it's just something on the screen. How clever these things are now. They can detect even writing on the screen. And so I thought, oh, do you know what? I bet that's it. So then I covered it up with graphics and uh, re-rendered the video and re-uploaded it. And touch wood, um, it's still not out yet, but it's ready for, it's scheduled to, to go out in like four and a half hours. And um, seems okay. Uh, seems okay at the moment. So that's possibly what that was. So what it means is the upshot of this, the very large YouTubers have already noted that some of them are, are so large that you know they can afford to lose a lot of that YouTube revenue, so they won't change anything. They say they get enough from other sources. Um, some who will rely on it will obviously have to change what they do if they have been hit by it. You have to sort of watch your language. And, and for, for a channel like a WOW channel, that's pretty much all you have to do. That's the only real way of falling foul of it. You know, if you're silly enough to start talking about politics and things like that in it, then you know, beware because that can hit it. But basically, there's a huge long list of things you can't do. And at the bottom of it, it basically says, or anything else we deem inappropriate. So uh, it can be anything. But I think for a WOW channel, it is really only going to be about the language. Because um, if, if you focus on just talking about this, then that's all it can be. 
but just to sort of bring you up to date with exactly what the problem is, as I say, it's not YouTube's fault, they're boxed into a corner. You know, if they don't have advertiser revenue, there's nothing to pass on to us for a start. You can't blame them. And the advertisers themselves were basically forced into a corner by basically trash media. So ultimately, blame the media in both Britain and uh, the US really for this, uh, for blowing it out of proportion. And of course, politicians will get on the side of that as well because it's a nice little distraction for them uh, from what they're up to. So they, they, they like, I'm sure it's in it, like in this in other countries as well, but in the UK, it's definitely true. Politicians absolutely love to get onto a bit of a, a crusade bandwagon because, uh, as I say, what it means is at the end of it, they decide to enact some law, some minor law uh, that that was already there in the first place. Usually, they just usually update a law and make out that they're doing something useful just to distract from what they're really up to. <laughs> but there we go. Um, so hopefully that's made a few things clear. Uh, if not, put some comments down below because this is something I've followed. Even though it's never sort of affected me really, it's something I follow with interest anyway. I'm always interested in, in, in the news and things like that. Um, but anyway, until we get onto more WoW-related topics, I'll see you later.